So how have you been doing and what's been going on in your homeschool, guys? Leave it in the comments and let me know how you've been feeling, all the things. Today I'm here to share with you what we are going to use for Black History Month. And guys, this will be like the last, maybe I'll do like a special Black History next year, but as a African-American mom, uh, Black History is something that we will be incorporating in our history um, and I don't even like to say the word incorporating because black history is history. And I think that sometimes people think just because it says black history or let's just say multicultural history, that is where, um, my home will be leading as far as that goes. And even as a Christian mom, when we talk about religion, um, I do not, not teach my kids about other religions. Basically, I don't shy away from introducing um, history from any culture in our home, and uh, that's that. If you're wondering how to incorporate um, black history in your home, I would say uh, you have to be intentional because unfortunately today I feel out there, no matter what history curriculum you try to grab, there is a lack of any culture in it. So besides white American history. So, or if you want me to say, besides um, talking about white Americans. So that's all I'm really gonna have to say about that. Um, like I said, I am more so leaning towards trying to be multicultural with my history aspect because sometimes I feel like, you know, as African Americans, we take things like, oh, everything has to be black, 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 black. And I'm not saying that to be, oh, you can get mad at me if you want, but I feel like, um, we have a lot to learn just um, being human beings with different shades of skin. And from my um, heart, as human beings, no matter what shade we are, we are should treat and respect each other, you know, um, treat each other kind and respect each other, no matter what shade we are. And we should all be open to learning about all cultures besides what we are. So for Black History Month, we will be doing two things. Um, well, a couple things. A couple is two, blah, blah, blah. We'll be doing more than two things, guys. <laughs> so for Black History Month, one, my kids will be having individual things that they have to read each week. Okay, so the first book that they will be reading as an individual read is never caught the story of Ona Judge and this is about a girl who chooses to escape from under President uh, George Washington and their wife and um, her journey to escaping so that's that the next one is when the stars are scattered this is about um, two brothers in a refugee camp in Kenya um, for black history I have no particular um, thing that we're going to touch on we are just introducing some because this is really our first year touching on any of a little bit so even though I'm showing you books it will be kind of light this I like this and my kids probably are going to fly through it because it is a graphic novel um so there in a refugee camp in Kenya life is hard no food without access to medical care um he has the opportunity to go to school but he has to leave his brother and his brother is his only remaining family member. So this is a, I'm probably gonna read this because it's a graphic novel. Yeah. <laughs> the other things that my kids are gonna be reading is who were the Negro Leagues? Who was Rosa Parks? Who was Sojourner Truth? What was the Harlem Renaissance? And who was Ida B. Wells? Now, you guys probably see that I have, um, I chose to go more female this year, um, even though they will have to do one person for the month that they will choose to research on that is not one of those people so they could pick a male or a female. Um, and that's that. So for our read alouds for the month, I didn't pick a lot, but our main spine for the month is going to be heart and soul. 
the story of America and African Americans on a story of hope and inspiration and unwavering courage. This is the story of men and women and children who toiled in the hot sun picking cotton for their masters. It's about the America ripped in two by Jim Crow laws. It's about the brothers and sisters of all colors who rallied against those who would dare bar a child from education. It's a story of discrimination and broken promises, determination and triumph. And this is by Kadir Nelson. The next one, if we finish Heart and Soul, we will read this. It's called The Friendship. It says a powerful story. Readers will be haunted by its drama and emotions long after they close the book. This is by Mildred Taylor, and she has a lot of other books um, like The Land, Mississippi Bridge, Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, Road to Memphis, Song of the Trees, The Well. If this is good, I will consider us reading. I will get the rest of them for the kids to read like in the summertime. So, yeah. I also have If You Were a Kid During the Civil Rights Movement. And that's just a little book like for my fourth grader. ABCs of Black History by Rio Cortez. This was actually a good book. Um, I loved all of the choices that they made for the alphabet in the book. And of course, it's just a beautifully illustrated book inside. You cannot go wrong as this, like using this as an intro to your black history, especially if you have like younger um, kids, introducing them to artists and all different types of stuff presidents gymnasts kings queens this is very nice the next one is called the journey of york the unsung hero of the lewis and clark expedition so also we have 12 days in may this is the freedom ride of 1961 um, this book we probably will not get through the whole thing but it's just to kind of talk a little bit about it um and this is more so for my older ones even though that my younger one will listen to it, he probably will not be paying attention. Besides when he hears like, oh, they did what? They did what? And then he'll be wanting to talk about it. <laughs> oh boy. The next one is She Stood for Freedom. Um, the untold story of a civil rights hero, hero Joanne Trumpoyer Mulholland. I'm gonna say that's what the name is. <laughs> Um, again, it is beautifully, beautiful pictures on the inside, beautiful pictures on the inside, um, that you're reading about while you're reading. I do love books that have, um, beautiful pictures in them. Um, one of the things it says on the back is everyone said it was wrong for a white girl to be friends with a black person. Joanne believed friendship was important. This one is Fort Moose. And the story of the man who built the first free black settlement in colonial America. So this is interesting. I'm really interested in reading this. These are books that I have just um, bought over time because I was like, oh, I want to read that book. And some of them I actually won last year on Instagram. So that's crazy. But <laughs> the next one is the 1619 Project. I believe that this book came out. Did this come out last year or two years ago? Um... When a student receives a family tree assignment in school and can only trace back three generations, grandma gathers the whole family and the students learn that 400 years ago in 1619, their ancestors were stolen and brought to America by Europe and slavers. But before that, they had a home, a land, a language. So beautifully illustrated once again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I feel like this is more of written in type of a it's more like a poetry type reading, beautiful. But you know, and that's one thing, you know, we all love to teach our kids is that um, we were present in Africa before we were slaves. And that's why also our first year of homeschooling, we did a whole study on Africa and it was wonderful and beautiful just realizing how much stuff actually comes from Africa. And uh, so do we, so yeah. The next one is The Undefeated. Again, this is like a poem style read. Um, beautiful on the inside, of course. Hope you can see that. But yeah, Undefeated. 
and that is it i don't have tons for black history month like i said this is more of an intro to touch here and there a little bit for black history month while they work on their solo person project that they have to do and do their read alouds for the month um that is what we're going to do guys i hope you enjoy being a part of the ladles and lilies community as always guys do what serves your home and this mama will see you in the next video <laughs> have a good week guys bye